Well, good afternoon to you, Nzinga, and the viewers at home. As you can see, we are moving from Magnolia Dell Park to the Ugandan High Commission here in Pretoria. You can see a sea of red here um, on the visuals there. Uh, people standing in solidarity with the LGBTQIA plus community, stating that uh, President Museveni should not pass this anti-homosexuality yes, yes. bill as law. Uh, the Economic Freedom Fighters has reiterated its utter condemnation of what it terms as the inhumane anti-homosexuality bill uh, passed by the Parliament of Uganda on the 21st of March 2023. Speaking to Julius Malema over the weekend when he was conducting voter registration here uh, in Deep Suit Johannesburg rather than Zynga, he stated that as long as uh, South Africans enjoy freedom, freedom while other nations continue to be discriminated against for who they are, then freedom hasn't truly be, been attained. So hence why you're seeing uh, Julius Malema as well as the other leadership of the EFF and interested parties, as well as you see Papa D there, who is from Uganda, that is a non-binary queer uh, human rights activist and photographer, who spelt out earlier what this bill meant uh, for Ugandans uh, or the queer community in Uganda, stating that it goes beyond just the bill being anti-homosexuality, but it actually would be a violation of human rights, uh, stating that um, Papa D's lived experience, according to they, was that Papa D couldn't even get health care, education, employment, a lease uh, to, to rent an apartment because of how uh, they identify in the world. So you're speaking of an issue that transcends beyond uh, this bill that has garnered um, widespread uh, criticism across the globe uh, and Zynga, you're actually speaking about human rights and of course uh, we're seeing the EFF the third largest party stand in solidarity with this community EFF leader Julius Malema previously expressed that not only uh, is the uh, bill a hate uh, an act of hate rather but it's also irrational in the sense as it will result in a if I could quote unquote say a witch hunt of people being accused of being a certain way and because of that way, they are denied their basic human rights. So there you see uh, the numbers of the EFF, uh, led by EFF leader Julius Malema, as well as interested parties. And we are slowly making our way over to the Ugandan High Commission. I think the EFF is the only political party that in the country so far that has decided to march to the High Commission and has taken uh, such a strong stance against uh, the passing of this bill which will tremendously impact the lives of many marginalized uh, members of society in Uganda from the most mundane things to uh, basic human rights. Uh, over, you to, over to you in studio, Nzinga.